on his 19th birthday. Can you believe it? Yay, all right. There's the birthday boy. You guys are in a really bad summer schedule. Oh, thank goodness. starting this vlog the day before Brevin's birthday we are going up to Jason's parents house and I have commissioned a cake to be made by my niece who is super talented she makes beautiful cakes they are delicious and we asked her to make a special cake that we could share with Brevin on his 19th birthday can you believe it we are going to have some cake ice cream and celebrate and kick things off a little early Put the Brazilian flag in. Addy. That turned out so rad. Look at that. Good job, girly. What do you think? I think it's awesome. That's so cool. We had to give you a special cake for your birthday. It's your mission birthday. I know, that's kind of cool. Not many missionaries get to celebrate with their families on their birthdays. Super sweet. And I cannot wait to taste this. Grandpa's gonna light it for us. How come it won't light? The wick is like in it. It's a, it was a used candle. Used number one. Come on. Do we need to get a knife and carve it out? There we go. Yay, all right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Elder Brevin, Elder Park. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Let's eat this. I don't know. How do you say happy birthday in Portuguese? Japanese, happy birthday. I think it's Feliz Aniversario. Okay, there you go. Feliz Aniversario. Aniversario. Feliz Aniversario. Aniversario. Feliz Aniversario. I think. Happy anniversary? Okay. I'll look it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yum. Oh, yum. So beautiful. I gotta go around my block. Here's some cake, really people. Big, so. Okay. All right. Today is actually Brevin's birthday, and he is in companionship study right now, wrapping that up. So I am fixing his birthday breakfast of choice. He asked for German pancakes, so they're in the oven right now. I'm gonna be taking them out in just a second, and I'm making some buttermilk syrup. So we're gonna have that with some fruit and maybe some bacon. It should be really good. All right, good morning. There's, morning. Morning. there's the birthday boy. <laughs> Ella's having toast. It just popped up because she, she's not a big fan of the German pancakes, but we have other stuff you can eat too. Jason's on a call right now. He's just gonna join us as soon as that's done. And these guys were good sports to wake up early. So they get have breakfast with us, huh? Good morning. <laughs> it's too early. What? It's like 9.30 almost. You guys are in a really bad summer schedule. That's gonna change quick in the next couple of weeks, isn't it? Yep. Okay, enjoy. Evan has finished up a full day of lessons and all of his Portuguese and missionary training today. And so he's free for the night. We're gonna take him out to a birthday dinner. And I'm gonna let him explain what his choice was and why. I chose Chick-fil-A because I was craving um, one of their frosted lemonades and chicken sandwich sounded good to me tonight. So that is what I chose for dinner, is Chick-fil-A. And I think also a reason he wanted Chick-fil-A is so that we could get it fast, get through the drive-through, take it home and eat it. And then we have been Kind of watching The Chosen. Yeah. It's so good. I love The Chosen. It's a really cool series on BYU TV about the life of Christ. It follows the New Testament stories. And 
it's, I mean, it's a dramatization of the life of Christ and his apostles, and it's really fascinating, and it, I think it's well done, and we've kind of got sucked in and loved watching it, something that he can watch as a missionary. Yeah. And um, anyway, it's been fun to spend that time watching that show with him together. Perfect, here you guys go. Awesome. Well done. Yeah. There you go. Thank, Thank you, sir. So Have a good one. You too. Thank you. Oh yeah, we got the sauces. You want to keep that covered? Yep. Get it all. Ooh, looks good. Wait, did you not get a barbecue? We got meat? two barbecue. You get two barbecue sauce. We have more sauces out in the fridge too. If you run out, okay. If you need another one, you can have that. I have one too that I might not use. Brevin is kicking back, relaxing, and we're gonna give him some birthday gifts. This year was kind of interesting because he doesn't need a lot of stuff. He's going to be gone for two years, and so kind of affected what gifts we purchased for him. So here we go. Thank you. The first gift of Christmas. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Let's go. What? Oh, yeah, me and Dad picked that up. Yep, cookies and cream, pretzels. Sour patch strawberries. Oh, nice. Put it right in his face so he can't see anything. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> we'll see if that helps. Portuguese for dummies. <laughs> there you go. You might have to leave it at home. Like, they give you a list of books that you could take. You're not supposed to take any other books. You're supposed to take language. Everything, Everything they sent you. Everything they sent you, the materials or the books that you take. So for this, I think that you'll get a lot out of it in two weeks. Especially when you have the, the week uh, like the week of no classes. Oh yes. This stuff is so good. I picked that up. I have a feeling because I eat all of yours. We got your stuff that will last you two weeks. Two weeks. Consumables. Got some Pringles. BBQ. Arizona. Ooh, watermelon. But he's not going to Arizona. He didn't have a Massachusetts drink, so. So. Come on, boys. You gotta get pasta. You could get a uh, Boston tea. A oh, Boston yeah. tea party. <laughs> you should have gotten some Boston baked beans. <laughs> what is yes. It? This is gonna be gone in a day. Those are so good. Raspberries, blueberries, and, and berries. I love these. Oh, you won't be able to eat all those in two weeks. Fruit by the foot. Me and I mean, I could if I wanted to make myself sick. 48 hour challenge with 48 yeah. no. fruit by the foot. You and me, let's One go. every hour? That would be gross. Well, happy birthday, Brevin. Thank you. Happy birthday.